Hey, uh, I wanted to run this video to show the uh, the new concept I, I found that it's a uh, kind of a solution into the windings of the connections the windings is perfect uh, what I'm doing here is a difference from what I have shown before uh, and I have gotten the, the end coils for each group for the blue group it'll be number four coil at the end of N1 and at the end of S5 it'll be number eight and these two coils only these two coils I have uh, set them in parallel I have given ground a separate ground and they are on the switching position at the end that means uh, if we go to the commutator, the Y cable is number four. So it will be one, two, three, four, and it will have the bridge. So it will be do doubling the contact. And so I did it also for number eight. Number eight, the start, I'm um, um, fitting it uh, right here. And number eight, it will be right here, and it will be... Uh, doubling the contact the same way that I had it before uh, except that I am giving ground to these two coils and I'll put a diagram showing what I'm doing I am also connecting the running caps uh, for um, that's to absorb the the bag EMF and to re be able to reuse it in the in the sequence and the way I have them connected is at the the, star, uh, the end of each group, the one connection to the end of each group. Uh, remember, they are in series, no diodes here. So um, the only one that is in parallel is the number four and number eight related to the ground. It's got its own ground. All the, the other three are uh, in series. Okay, uh, in, the, in both uh, sequential go coil groups. So the way I have it hooked is on, on the end of each sequence and ground. I have the two running caps. And remember, like I said previously, they work alternated. Uh, one, when one is off, the other one is, it gets fed and it, it's got some voltage here. So be careful. And it's uh each has a ground and this way what i'm doing is i'm creating a rush an impact this these four number four and number eight will be impact coils in on the sequence so it'll be running smooth and boom when it com comes to number four boom, it'll absorb because it'll take a lot of uh, um power and it'll attract the field it, it'll finalize the jump of the field to the end of each sequence number eight number four um the the difference is uh great i'm very happy with it but i want you to understand something the 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 primaries n1 and s5 are the way that we control our input the number of turns that we use and the resistance uh, uh, total resistance will give the, the the input of the whole generator that we desire to work on and it, it'll lower the amperage if we use this coil these two coils the two primaries with a lot of uh, uh, with not a lot of resistance but over one ohm I'll say anywhere in between one and two ohms so we keep our, our voltage high in our input and the, the amperage low. That's what we want. We don't want too high amperage and too low voltage because the field won't be strong enough. Believe me, this is the way exciters work. Exciter works with 170 volts, 180, 200 volts, and 2 amps. Okay, they don't work with 10 amps and, and 60 volts. No. The, the, it doesn't work that way so we try to minimize we use this to reduce amperage and higher voltage 
number of turn bolts it's higher and this will try to keep them on with the caps i don't have the caps the electrolytic caps installed now i'm just running pure the the other one i have connected is this 25 uh microfarad running cap also add the, and the add, add the output and that i do it in order to prevent spikes on 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 the signal so it, it's been seen more clearly all right so i'm running with 28 28 volts input and i'm gonna start the system i have this uh it's a 60 watt volt 120 volts 60 watt uh incandescent bulb and here we'll be showing the the output okay so let's start and i'm gonna turn this that i told you to always use this uh that connects the, the positive it turns on your brush from the power supply to your brush you put the, this little switch it's very handy and you need it okay so we'll see what happens okay we're running the motor is running very low as i increase it Right, and our amperage has increased 7.8 amps at 28 volts. Anyway, I'm gonna turn it off, and this is this is what I'm working on right now, and I'm gonna download it on the forum on YouTube, and so the video can go on. Um yeah this is the idea the end coils of each group we're gonna put them in parallel um, and that when it turns when it turns it on it'll consume a lot of amperage in there and it'll power up the field will complete a cycle of approaching of traveling in maximum potential here and so it will happen when the field when this red field travels this way so these will make the make sure that the piston the magnetic piston gets all the way in the end on both ends on both uh reciprocating uh pistons all right guys uh thanks